Welcome back to Infigyan my dear friends. In this video we are going to take up one very interesting rational equation problem. I will demonstrate two different methods to solve this problem. First method is you can say unconventional or extraordinary method and second method is the conventional one. So let us begin this video by writing method number one. And I will begin with domain. So denominator cannot be zero. I will write x cannot be equal to negative one done so my method number one is i will give substitution straight away 17 minus x over x plus one that i will consider y see what will happen x square y plus x y square equal to 72 now you can see easily x y is common in bracket x plus y equal to 72. Now one important point that is if I will presume that x y is one root of equation and x plus y is second root of the equation that means we are presuming equation is quadratic whose roots are x y and x plus y. So product of root let me write here product of roots we know that is 72. So let me write here xy times x plus y is 72. Now I want the sum of roots also if possible. So let us try. So roots are xy and x plus y. So sum of roots I will write xy plus x plus y. xy is one root x plus y is another root. If we are taking sum then xy plus x plus y. Let us find out put the value of y. y is 17 minus x over x plus 1. So I will write 17 minus x over x plus 1 plus x plus 17 minus x over x plus 1. In next step I will multiply the second term numerator denominator with x plus 1. Here x plus 1 x plus 1. Now denominator is common. So I will put over there x plus 1. Now simply expand this. x times 17, 17x. x times minus x, minus x is square. Then I will write x is square plus x. Then I will write 17 minus x. Now see what we can cancel. These two terms and x also plus x minus x. So what is left? I will take 17 common. So in bracket there are two terms only 17x and 17. Once you will take 17 common you will write inside the bracket x plus 1 and see the denominator is also having x plus 1. So conclusion is sum of root is coming out 17. So we know sum of roots product of roots. So I will frame one quadratic equation whose sum of roots 17 and product of roots 72. So let us frame the equation. I will write k square minus sum of roots times k plus product of roots equal to 0. Now let me write here k square minus sum of roots was 17 we have calculated just and product of roots it was 72. Now let us solve this quadratic equation for our two roots. Remember two roots x y is one root. Let me write here root number one and root number two is x plus y. So let us find out the roots k. So I will write minus b 17 plus minus under the root b square 289. 17 square is 289 minus 4ac minus 4 times 72 so minus 288 divided by 282. 17 plus minus root 1 1 and denominator will be 2. 17 plus 1 18 over 2 9 17 minus 1 16 over 2 8. 
so we are having two value and remember what is k k is x y and x plus y two roots so let us frame two set of equation so if i will consider x y is equal to 9 then i need to consider x plus y equal to 8 this is one set and second set is x y we have to consider 8 then obviously we will consider x plus y equal to 9 so we will collect our answer from here so from equation the very first equation i will write y is equal to 9 over x from this equation now substitute here so i will write x plus 9 over x is equal to 8 multiply with x so x square plus 9 equal to 8x x square minus 8x plus 9 equal to 0 okay so i will write i will use this space i will again apply uh, Sridharachar formula so let us apply x is equal to minus b so 8 plus minus under the root b square 64 minus 4ac 36 over 2a so 2 bracket is here so i will write 8 plus minus 14 plus 14 28 so 7 times 4 2 root 7 over 2 divide by 2 i will collect our answer the first two answers 4 plus minus root 7 here we are having solutions x is equal to 4 plus minus root 7 both are real now i will consider this second equation for solution x y 8 x plus y equal to 9 x y is equal to 8 and x plus y equal to 9 i will do the same job y i will calculate from here that will be 8 over x and let us put in the second equation so i will write x plus 8 over x equal to 9 multiply with x both sides so x square plus 8 is equal to 9x x square minus 9x plus 8 equal to 0 again apply Sridharachar formula minus b 9 plus minus under the root b square 81 minus 4ac so 8 times 4 32 divided by 2a so 2 81 minus 32 i will write square root 49 square root 49 will be 7 let us put in the bracket now you can see it will come out 9 plus minus 7 over 2 so 16 by 2 so 8 and 9 minus 7 is 2 over 2 so 1 so method number 1 the unconventional or extraordinary method from this method we are having four solutions and all four solutions are real 1 8 and then we have calculated 4 plus minus square root 7 now the conventional method of solving this problem that is using synthetic division using algebra purely so let us consider method number two i will make our denominator common first so i will write x square 17 minus x then i need to multiply with x plus one here in very first term to make our denominator common let me write one time x plus one whole square plus x times 17 minus x whole square and it is already having denominator x plus 1 whole square so no need to write anything else now expand it and multiply right hand side with x plus 1 whole square so i will write x cube plus x times 17 minus x plus x times expand this 289 plus x square minus 34x and right hand side i will write 72 times x square 
plus 2x plus 1. You can check. I have expanded only. Now you have to only open this bracket, expand this bracket using distributive law and which equation we will get from here that is one quartic equation x power 4 minus 17 x cube plus 89 x square minus 145 x and constant term is 72 plus 72 remember this one so this is one quartic equation let me put in the box because this equation is the most important. Now I will use synthetic division method. Before that, rational root theorem, obviously. So you can see here, constant coefficient is, so eligible factors you can begin with plus minus 1, plus minus 2, plus minus 3 and so on. But before that, if simply add all the coefficients written over there. Let us add 1 minus 17 plus 89 minus 145 plus 72. Simply add. Three numbers are positive. 89, 72 and 1. If you will add, you will get 162. Add all the negative numbers also. Negative 162. So it is coming out straight away 0. That means x is equal to 1 is our first base solution. Okay. Synthetic division method is on. So we will use synthetic division method. Let me write all the coefficients of quartic equation 1, minus 17, 89, minus 145, 72. Put one line over there. Leading coefficient as it is unchanged. Now, 1 times 1, 1, negative 16. 1 times negative 16, negative 16, 73. 1 times 73, 73. Minus 72 you will write. 1 times minus 72, minus 72, 0. So here we are having coefficients for cubic equation. So let me write this equation here itself. So x cube minus 16x square plus 73x minus 72 equal to 0. Okay. Now I will put, let me write that equation here. x cube minus 16x square plus 73x minus 72 equal to 0. Now this time you will use because coefficients addition is not coming out 0. So this time you have to use rational root theorem. So plus minus 1 plus minus 2 eligible factors you can write from here plus minus 3 plus minus 4 plus minus 6 plus minus 8 plus minus 9 plus minus 12 plus minus and so on you can continue simply you can put one value x is equal to 8 so if i will put then i will write 8 cube minus 16 times 8 square plus 73 times 8 minus 72 so if you will check you will get 1096 minus 1096 which will be equal to 0 so that is true. So our second base solution for this cubic equation is x is equal to 8. Now I will come to SDM, synthetic division method. Let us write all the coefficient of this cubic equation. So I will write 1 minus 16, 73 minus 72. Put one line over there. Leading coefficient as it is. 8 times 1, 8. Then I will write minus 8, 8 times minus 8, minus 64. So I will write 9, 9 times 8, 72, 0. Here we are having coefficient for quadratic equation. x square minus 8x plus 9 equal to 0. Now we have to solve this quadratic equation. You can apply Shridharachar formula x is equal to minus b plus minus under the root b square minus 4ac. So 4 times 9, 36. Okay, divided by 2a, so 2. Now 64 minus 36, 14 plus 14, 28. So I will write same result 4 times 7, 2 root 7. 
over 2. Divide with 2, I will write 4 plus minus root 7. So, two base solutions, 1 and 8, and this one is real solution is still it is 4 plus minus root 7. So, let me write answers here 1, 8, and 4 plus minus root 7. Four solutions. Okay, let us verify 2. Which one? 1 and 8. So, let me write here verification. Quickly we will verify x is equal to 1. See what will happen. 1 square is 1, 17 minus 1, 16 over 2 plus 17 minus 1, that is 16 over 2 whole square. So I will cancel 2 and 16, 8 I will write. Here also 8. So it is coming out 8 plus 8 square which is equal to 8 plus 64, 72, true, verified. Now come to second value, x is equal to 8. Okay, 8 if I will put, I will write 8 square as it is x square outside, 17 minus 8, 9, 9 over 8 plus 1, 9, plus 8 times 17 minus 8, 9, it is whole square, and uh, 8 plus 1 is 9. So you can see 9, 9 will be over. This 9, 9 will be over. So bracket will be 1. 64 plus 8, which is our RHS. True, verify. I hope this video will be meaningful to you. Do not forget to like, share and subscribe friends. Bye-bye till next video. Good luck. Take care.